rest though I don't back down Leave your heart laying on the ground Tell me who the killer now Tell me who the killer Hello, hello, hello everybody Welcome back to my channel The Universe Tarot Okay, it's been a while since I've uploaded, but we are back in action, okay? So today we're doing a reading for Aries. Aries, it's all about you. It's all about the Aries today, okay? Now, before we get started, make sure you guys like the video, share the video, subscribe, and hit that post notification bell so you don't miss an upload when I upload, okay? And please, please, please um, follow the Terra Instagram page and keep in mind that, um, um, what do you call it? The Tarot Business phone number, right, and my cash and my PayPal are all in the description box below along with the Instagram, okay? Right? So, yeah, just follow, hit me up on Instagram if you want a personal reading or, you know, just hit me up on the phone number, right? But please do not send money unless we have talked first, okay? Unless we have, um, what you call it? Like, text each other saying, hey, I want a personal reading. Um, does this day work for you? Okay, I'm going to send it on Cash App now. Like, you know, please, 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 my God. Okay, so for the tarot reading prices, um, it's $15 on Cash App and $20 on PayPal for a one-question reading. Okay, now for a 10-minute reading, it's $25 on Cash App, $30 on PayPal. For a 20-minute reading, it's $40 on Cash App, $45 on PayPal. And for a 30-minute one, it's $50 on Cash App and $55 on PayPal. Okay, so yeah. Just let you guys know that. It's also in the description box, you know, if you need like a like a written layout of the um prices, you know, everything's in the description box. Everything you need to know is in the description box, okay? Um, so yeah, and then my membership is in the description box below, the membership link. Um for the membership, you guys get a whole bunch of perks. So for the Starlight package, it's $2.99 a month. For the Galaxy package, it's $4.99 a month. And then for the Universe package, it's $9.99 a month. But with the nine, with the Universe package, you guys get um, $5 knocked off your first personal reading. But the, however, that is not applicable to the one question reading. That's just with the 10, 20, or 30 minute reading. Mm, excuse me. Okay. So with that being said, we're going to go ahead and jump into it. Hope everyone's having a good morning, noon, and night. I hope all is well. But if all is not well, I do apologize. Hopefully your situation will get better. Oh, I forgot. I, I, it looked upside down for a second. So I was like, wait, is it upside down? It was. I was about to have all my cards flip-flop. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Hope y'all are doing good. Um, I came home from work not too long ago. Maybe like an hour ago. Yeah, an hour ago. Mm -hmm. Just came home, took a shower, ate a snack, and went straight to my reading table. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you guys got... Oh, God, I even get to see it. The keep, keep an open mind, okay? You need to keep an open mind. You know, in a relationship, in any relationship, right, you know, you can't be too narrow-minded, okay, or too, um, like, prejudiced, okay, when it comes to finding the one, okay? Because, yeah, that person's not going to be perfect. You may not get everything you want in a relationship, but at least you're getting the important parts, like, is this person loyal? Is this person going to have your back? You know, et cetera, et cetera. Are they going to be, the like, the kind of person to take care of you and, and, and um stay truthful and faithful to you okay so you gotta look at the important stuff rather than the like non non-important stuff you know that you just kind of keep an open mind try to be more understanding heart to heart conversations okay what i like about this card is that you know it's encouraging communication right and sometimes i feel like in a lot of relationships there's not enough of that okay Mostly, and, it's most, and it mostly stems from the other partner not being willing to listen, okay? Or not being willing to speak up. One of those two, okay? <clears throat> but yeah, just have some heart-to-heart -heart conversations. If there's a situation where you guys are not seeing eye-to-eye, -eye, right? And you guys are just, um, just kind of going at it in a negative way. Maybe what you guys really need is just an emotional conversation. Just being truthful about how you feel. Just being honest with each other, Okay? romantic feelings okay when you guys start to do that that's when you are opening your heart to the romantic feelings of them 
okay? So after that, after heart-to-heart -heart conversations, after um, being honest with them and being truthful and being straight up about how y'all feel, that's when it starts to, you know, kind of enable con connection, okay? That's when it starts to enable connection. True love, okay? Now, the thing with true love, right? This person, right? When they may not be perfect, right? There is a strong possibility that they could be your true love, right? You just gotta, oh, like I said, keep an open mind, all right? Maybe if you don't believe in true love, or maybe if you don't believe in soulmates, you know what? That's up to you. That's you. That's fine, all right? That's you. Okay, fine. But, okay? But that doesn't mean you won't find the one, okay? That doesn't mean that this person could be the one, that, that, that could not be the one for you, okay? You know, this means that this person has their flaws and strengths and weaknesses and stuff like that, right? But that doesn't mean they love you any less, okay? Or are interested in you, okay? Reconciliation, okay? So with reconciliation, maybe you guys sometimes get into it and have arguments and you guys storm off for maybe a couple hours and then eventually you guys come back after the two of you have calmed down and stuff like that. So it's just like, okay, you know, maybe you guys should try to, what you call it? Like, kind of just, just be like, I'm trying to think of another word. I was like, re -smile. I was going to be like, just reconcile. No, I'm trying to think of another word. That's why I'm staggering like this. Um, what's another word for reconcile? Okay, kiss and make up. I'm going to say that. Kiss and make up, right? When you guys have heart-to-heart -heart conversation, that kind of like, it, that kind of like dilutes the negative energy between you guys and then you guys start to communicate more and better. So when you guys reconcile or, or make up after having an argument, that's the best thing because you guys are learning from each other and healing afterwards. Okay. You know, this is your new love. Okay. Right. You know, maybe your past people, your past people that you've been in a relationship with were all fails. Of course they were fails. That's why they're past people. Okay. But you know, you know, it's thought you always felt like maybe love was just wasn't in the cards for you or you just made maybe you're just going to try to focus on yourself before you try to put yourself out there again right they always say there's always someone out there for you and there is there's well there has to be at least one person on this earth for everybody else okay all right so you just gotta find yours let your friends help you okay sometimes People go to their problems to their, and take their problems to their friends because they feel like their friends have a lot of knowledge or maybe they need like a second opinion on something or someone, you know, and you just gotta, just gotta let your friends help you, okay? Because they might even help you with your situation. Like, you know, maybe a lot of people just don't let their, like, the friends get into their personal problems like that, right? Which I can understand. I respect that, right? But the other people who do, you know, they just feel like they need a second opinion or they don't, or if maybe they won't go to everybody, like every single person of their friends, of course, no, but they just do need somebody they can trust to talk to. Okay. Calling in your soulmate. You see what I said earlier? Y'all probably don't believe in that soulmate mess, but listen, this person, right? There's a high, high chance that they're your soulmate. Why? Because you guys just have a lot more in common than you guys probably give each other credit for. Okay? Right? Or if you guys feel different, like if you guys feel like you guys have different personalities, well, they always say per different opposites attract. Okay? Like that song, opposites attract. Them. Let me shut up. Anyway. <laughs> Um, so yeah, you know, just, just, just really give it a chance and just, you never know, right? You have to give it a chance in order for you to have a, a possible, happy, healthy relationship. All right. Getting to know each other. All right. When you guys get, of course you guys got to get to know each other. Okay. Otherwise you're dating a stranger. Okay. Hey, I mean, Hey, that, that actually sounds like a good book title or a movie title, you know, dating a stranger. Okay. But you know, whatever, but yeah. When you guys get to know each other and really get to understand the likes and dislikes of one another, then you guys get, like, you're chipping away at that person's shell and they're chipping away at your shell. So that way you guys can be comfortable with each other. When you guys get comfortable, you're more likely to open up and have communication. That's what is important. Communication and understanding and patience. And then our last card says, right, separation, right? Nobody's breaking up. Calm down, right? So, with the separation card, that means you feel like you've been maybe emotionally separated for a while, okay, or maybe they've been emotionally separated for a while, and 
because they've been hurt so many times or you've been hurt so many times, right? So I can understand that, you know, you kind of like want to disconnect from love and just focus on yourself, right? But if there's even a small chance that this person could be your forever person, then you should give it a try, okay? Because you can never know. The world is always changing. The world is ever changing and never stopping. So you never know what will come to your path, okay? So you have to keep an open mind and trust the relationship. So Aries, I hope this did resonate with you. I hope this resonated in any way. I hope I helped in any way. But um, if it did not, I do apologize. Hopefully next Aries reading will. Or just buy a personal reading, you know? Make your life easier. But in the meantime, though, make sure you guys like, comment, share, subscribe, and hit that post notification bell so you don't miss an upload when I upload, all right? This has been The Universe, Tarot. Namaste. Rest on my door, but now I'm leaving. Hardly alone, little girl. Tell me who, who the